All right, hey, welcome back, my friends. We want to talk about something today that I get asked about all the time. You know, folks over the years that have bought courses that are chock full of licks and learn licks from their favorite players, they come to me and they say, you know, I got these licks, how do I put them into solos? But more importantly, what can I do to get the most out of them over time in my own playing? So I've devised sort of like a three-stage, <laughs> you know, categorical outlook you could take to approaching licks in yet a new way. Um, so what we want to do is just take a simple blues lick. We're going to play it over a 12-bar form, but let me play the lick for you first. We're going to be playing in the, uh, the blues in A, so we'll be doing mostly A minor pentatonic and one little A major pentatonic idea, right? So we'll do something like this. <laughs> Fun blues lick, right? We could use that over the whole 12 bar form. I'll do that here in a second. But what we're going to do is talk about ways that we could take that lick and get more out of it. And I've, like I said, three different ways that we can do that, or three things to consider to get the most out of a lick, right? A lick is like a sentence, and you want to use the sentence for the rest of your life to communicate and tell stories, particularly on your guitar, right? So let's do that. Let me play the lick first over the 12 bar, then I'll teach it to you. All right, let's do it. You can see that lick works over the 12 bar for the most part, and I may have, you know, uh, gone after a chord tone or a root note here or there as the chords were passing by, like the D7 and the E7 that are in our blues and A, right? No harm in that. But the lick is the jumping off point, and that's a really important thing, is the lick can be sort of the inspiration for the rest of the solo. But speaking of that, let's talk about the lick specifically and how we want to play it. I'll tab this out, uh, and then we'll go to sort of our, our three points about how we can take a lick and make it better. All right, so think about A minor pentatonic pattern two. Right there on the 10th and 8th frets, starting on the first string. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend a whole step from the D to the E. When we release, we go right to the 8th fret C note. We don't go down or release the bend. We just go bend to release on the eighth. Then what I do is I go right from the A note on the second string, 10th fret, to the E note on the ninth fret, third string. So think about part one, part two, so you're going second to third string there, watch that. Then what I do is I go to the pattern one. I play that D note on the third string. And then I slide from C to C sharp. Play C sharp on the third string, sixth fret A on the seventh fret, fourth string. Now I'm going kind of fast here because I'm going to tab it out. But what I really want you to do is think about what's coming up in the video, the categories about how you can make these licks better and more interesting, or do more with them. Let's just say that. Okay, hopefully that gets you through. That should be enough because we want to talk about ways that we can really expand. That's the whole idea. So let's jump over to category one. It's all about not letting anything go to waste. All right, so we got our lick and we're not going to let anything go to waste. Just like a Thanksgiving turkey, you want sandwiches for days. You want to get the most out of it, right? So we're going to take that same lick and let's take the first two pieces. So out of that little piece right there, you have a bunch of other ideas. Yeah. 
You could start or end solos with that anytime you want. Two, three, four. See what I'm saying? Lots of stuff already just right in there for you. So take little pieces of it. It's almost like a two for one. Here's one, two. Right? So we want to get the most mileage out of we can out of those small pieces. We could break it down even further. How about that much? You've heard that before. Manipulate that area. So nothing goes to waste. You want to use as much of it as you can, even the smallest and finest points of the lick. All right, make sense? Let's check out the second category I dialed up for you. All right, so the second thing we're going to talk about is relocation. Now, relocation means we're going to put this lick somewhere else on the guitar or maybe in a different octave or a different scale pattern. All right, so we can go, instead of playing in patterns two and one, we can play in patterns four and three. So maybe we're here. A minor pattern four, and we want to do something like this. As opposed to same lick, different spot, and because the strings have changed, the timbre of the note changes as well. Got the meteor woolier strings down here. So what we're going to do there, same idea. The licks and the physical nature of it is all the same. Whenever you can kind of cheat on guitar, take advantage of it because you don't always get the chance. And what I mean by cheat is the physical feeling is pretty much the same. The string gauges feel different up higher a little bit, you know. Your bending is going to have to be really sharp and tuned. Sharp not sharp as in flat or fart. Yeah, fart? No. You don't want to make your guitar fart unless you have a fuzz pedal. All right, whatever. Because fuzz pedals make a farty noise. That's, you know, all there is to it. I have seen that there's a fart pedal out. I'm going to have to try it. So really, that's just going to be, and I'll tab this out so you have it in this spot too, okay? But same idea. Bend, quarter step. And when you're walking down that fourth pattern, you have to grab the A and the E as opposed to the A and the E here. You got to do it here. So it's a little bit of a tricky situation there to go from three to four on the same fret. Same thing, C to C sharp, A. So now that we're here, do it down low. And that seems even more like this one in a physical nature. Now if I'm here, I might want to bend a whole step. fingerings will be the same as it was for this. This is a little different because of where the notes lie in the scale. Right, so that's how you get the most out of relocating your lick, okay? Not location, 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 relocation, relocation. 
You get it. All right, so that's number two. Let's talk about one more way that really we can really consider our licks and maximize them. All right, so this third one I call all the feels because you have to be able to put your licks over all different kinds of grooves and rhythmic feels. You know, if, if, if you have a shuffle groove, like one and two and three and four and... <laughs> That's more of a shuffle feel and the straight one. One, two, three, four. Might be something more like that. Okay, so I got a shuffle or a straight feel dialed up. Let's have a listen. A little faster, a little straighter. Two, three. <laughs> Right? Get the difference? Yeah, you, the straighter is more rock and roll or more dancey kind of a thing, whatever you wanna feel, however you wanna feel. But you wanna be able to take that ba 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 and straighten it out. One, two. So I'm inserting some 16th notes in there as opposed to some triplets, what we had in the swing, um, the, the more shuffle feel lick. So the shuffle feel is more that's your triplets, and then your 16th notes, that's more of that feel. Okay, so perfect. Just in time for the battery to run out on my other camera, and I'm looking at you, so I don't even care. <laughs> but those are my three things. So don't forget, you wanna not waste anything. Nothing is left to waste, that's number one. Number two is relocation, and number three is all about different feels, all the feels, if you can. All right, so what I'll do is I'll transcribe all of those licks, and I'll uh, transcribe the one in the different uh, rhythmic feel as well, so you have them. And I'll even put the shuffle and the straight track together for you in a link. You'll get it, you'll have a blast. When it gets to the end of the video, I got all these things on my mind. I should tell you to subscribe, I should tell you to hit the thumbs up. I hope you do all that because we're building something great here. Just crossed over 37,000 subscribers. Love to get to 40 with your help. Uh, and if you haven't checked out the other videos, go for it. Tons and tons of lessons. And of course, message me in the comments telling me what you love uh, about the channel and uh, we'll continue to grow together. All right, I'm Corey. I hope you enjoyed that lesson on how to expand your, your blues licks and more importantly, three things that you can do to achieve that. All right, I'll talk to you on the next lesson and have something cool for you. See you then.